From the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your evening weather update. We want to start evening weather with information on Hurricane Adalia. Now, Adalia not expected to make direct impacts here on the Tennessee Valley outside of some breezy conditions tomorrow, but quiet weather here. But I know that a lot of you may have friends and relatives down in the Big Bend area of Florida and the west coast of Florida where Adalia will be impacting. So we know that you want information. So we're going to go ahead and put the tropical information here up at the front of the forecast and then we'll work through the local forecast. Vipers radar network here showing the center of circulation what's developing into the eye of Hurricane Adalia here off the coast about due west of Cape Coral, Florida, moving northward here. You see the squally weather on the eastern side. Hurricane hunters have recently found their pressure starting to rapidly drop now and winds are significantly increasing that in association with the satellite presentation really improving. You see an eye, here, an eye developing here at the end of the loop on visible satellite shows us that Adalia is starting to rapidly intensify now. As we expected, you see the really crisp cloud tops here. That's really intense thunderstorms developing in the eye wall of the storm. And you can see that even better with the infrared satellite here with the darker reds, the colder cloud tops exploding here around the eye. So it looks like Hurricane Adalia is intensifying. And already, as of the 4 p.m. local advisory, Idalia, now a category two hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour. Pressure then was 972 millibars. Since four o'clock, it's already down to 968 and quickly dropping now. And the winds are coming up. So the next advisory at 7 p.m. likely to have Idalia stronger moving north at 16 miles per hour. Here's the latest track expected to become a major category three hurricane tonight prior to landfall during the morning to midday hours of Wednesday in the Big Bend area of Florida here in the north central part of Florida. That's well southeast of the Tennessee Valley. No local impacts here except some breezy conditions with a pressure gradient. We'll talk about that here in just a moment, but this will be a major hurricane impact on northern Florida. So if you have friends and relatives, we're giving you that information so you know what they expect and these are the final hours for people to rush preparations and to go through the evacuation orders down there. Then continues northeastward, paralleling the Georgia and South Carolina coast, weakening as it moves up on land naturally, and then recurving out here to the western Atlantic still on this track. No direct impacts here in the Tennessee Valley of South Southern Middle Tennessee or northern Alabama. Here locally, we'll bring the weather back to the Tennessee Valley, and we're mostly sunny this afternoon. Beautiful conditions on this Tuesday. Low humidity, relatively speaking, still in place, and the sunshine that's allowed us to be well up into the 80s today. Most of us into the mid to upper 80s. Iuka uh, snuck up to 90 degrees this afternoon, though. Currently, as we're working through the 5 o'clock hour, getting closer to 6 as I record this, 82 in Lawrenceburg, 86 in Columbia, 81 in Hohenwald, 84 from Athens, Alabama, back to Savannah, Tennessee, 87 in the heart of the Shoals and Decatur here on the banks of the Tennessee River in North Alabama. Satellite and radar composite from the southeast showing quiet weather immediately over the Tennessee Valley. All the shower and thunderstorm activity is down to the south over southern Alabama, southern Georgia, south of the front that's brought the cooler and drier air to the area. And we're going to see rain chances backing on off as we head honestly through the next seven days here. Future cast showing showers to our south, moving away as we head through the evening, partly cloudy to mostly clear overnight. That allows us to drop into the low to mid 60s. And I can't rule out a few locations getting down into the upper 50s overnight, especially over southern middle Tennessee, as we'll have more in the way of clear skies with a few clouds around. But we'll also have that drier air filtering in on these northerly winds that will crank up through today. Now, excuse me, through tomorrow. Now through our Wednesday, especially as we get the sun up, we head into the midday and the afternoon, we warm back into the low to mid eighties. We'll mix the atmosphere a little bit. That pressure gradient tightens between high pressure to the north and Hurricane Adalia to the south. We may actually see wind gusts out of the north tomorrow as high as 20 to 25 miles per hour sustained winds as high as 15 miles per hour at times, but a beautiful day otherwise besides the breezy conditions becoming mostly sunny with highs in the low to mid 80s. As we head through the afternoon, just a few clouds here and there falling back to the lower 70s in the evening. 
into the 60s overnight, and I wouldn't rule out a few locations into the upper 50s Thursday morning for forecast lows as well. You see a dial you're pulling off to the southeast, keeping all that stormy weather away from us. Winds not as gusty on Thursday, but they will still be out of the north, reinforcing the drier air in place, mostly sunny skies, and a few locations may actually stay in the upper 70s over Middle Tennessee for daytime highs despite the sunshine on our Thursday. Most of us likely to be into the low to mid 80s across the area. And then we start to warm up Friday into the weekend. We'll have another little minor disturbance to our south that gives more of a gulf flow. Winds increasing here out of the south a bit. Cloud cover increasing, so partly sunny Friday into the weekend. Daytime highs getting back to the mid to upper 80s, getting a little more muggy, but not excessively so and then as we work closer to Labor Day we'll get back closer to the lower 90s so no excessive heat around here for the next five to seven days as we get closer to the weekend but we will start to warm up with time low to mid 80s here for a Wednesday and Thursday maybe some upper 70s on Thursday for daytime highs notice the morning lows also down into the lower 60s if not the upper 50s in a few spots and then we warm back into the mid and upper 80s as we head into the Labor Day weekend and then likely into the lower 90s as we enter the first part of next week. So your hourly forecasts are locally partly cloudy, becoming mostly clear, deeper into the overnight. That allows most of us to drop into the upper, excuse me, the lower 60s. But again, can't rely on a few 58, 59 degree readings here and there, especially over middle Tennessee. Low to mid 80s for partly cloudy skies here for a Wednesday over southern middle Tennessee, more of the same. In northwest Alabama, generally mid 80s here, a couple degrees warmer as you would naturally expect versus southern middle Tennessee, but plenty of sunshine here, especially as we head through the midday in the afternoon. But those breezy northeast winds of 15 to 25 miles per hour at times, lower 80s for Thursday. Again, maybe a few folks in the upper 70s warming going into the Labor Day weekend and by early next week, it looks like we'll be back into the lower 90s across the area. There's a look at your latest seven day forecast. I'll be back at nine o'clock with another check of your local weather.